Justin Fields having his second pro day today, and you may have seen it yesterday here on this program, but Mel Kuyper in his new mock draft 4.0 projected a trade between Dallas and New England with the Patriots going up to 10 to take Justin Fields, which obviously would be a fascinating development if it happens. The Patriots have not been in a position where they needed to deal with the quarterback situation in such an incredibly long time. So, Kimberly Martin, let me start with you. What are you hearing relative to the Patriots' plans of aggressively, one way or the other, addressing the quarterback position over the next few weeks? You know, Greeny, everyone says Cam is great for this year. He's a bridge. But you know what that means? Bridge means temporary. It's the temporary fix until you find the guy of the future. No one believes that Cam is going to be in New England for the long haul. But what the Patriots do, what they're able to give up to move up, that remains to be seen because everyone feels like Bill Belichick has to do something. They need an answer at QB, a long-term answer. No one seems to know what it's going to take for the Patriots to move up. Do they move up into the 10? Can they get up to something crazy like four? It's going to take a lot of capital to get there. But one thing's certain, Belichick has to be thinking about the future beyond Cam Newton. You know the, the cost of these things. We're talking about what one would have to trade in order to get there. So let's just say for the sake of argument what Mel is projecting. To go from 15 to 10, what does that cost? Yeah, Greeny, here's where it gets interesting. It would be this year's second round pick and uh, to next year. And what New England's trying to do now is be proactive because there's three other teams, Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Washington, that could be in the mix to try to go up and get, let's say, Justin Fields. So it's two twos. And if I'm Coach Belichick, I don't get off the phone until I get a deal done because while I think two twos is fair and reasonable for Justin Fields, I think another team could overpay to get there because, again, it's a long ways away, but there's not a lot of quarterbacks next year. So even like a team like Washington with Ryan Fitzpatrick or Ben Roethlisberger in Pittsburgh, Justin Fields would be an unbelievable accomplishment for those teams to get him this year. So while two twos looks good on paper today, while the draft's actually going on, if I'm Coach Belichick, I don't get off the phone without getting a deal done. Okay, and so that's an interesting way of looking at it. There's so many other pieces to this, and so as we try and figure things out with Teddy, Kimberly, let me come back to you. The reason I phrased the question initially the way I did, address the quarterback position, is that there is obviously another option here, which is if San Francisco does indeed take Mac Jones, or any quarterback, I suppose, at number three, that could make Jimmy Garoppolo available. So what do you hear relative to the chances that that might be the move that Bill Belichick wants to make? I've always heard that, that the Patriots love Jimmy, and it makes perfect sense, especially you started hearing Jimmy and the Patriots the minute the 49ers pulled the trigger on that trade because that, oh, well, they're thinking about their future beyond Jimmy. So that makes him expendable as much as they say, we love Jimmy, he's our guy, you know, injuries are one thing, but we love him as the player. Yeah, I'm sure they do love him as a player, except they have a chance to get somebody better. So, at least in their eyes. So, if you have a QB sitting there that you know New England has had an affinity for, Belichick has a connection with, it makes logical sense that the Patriots should be invested in, in trying to get Jimmy Garoppolo. But again, all these teams. Do you want the familiar or do you want one of these QBs in this draft that might take your offense, take your team to another level? Well, once we're just only to finish that up quickly then, Mike T, which of those would you describe as the more realistic one or the one that you would expect Belichick would prefer? Given his choice, do you think he would prefer to go get a rookie or to go get Jimmy Garoppolo, including whatever the price would be in either case? Because they have Cam Newton, I would expect they would want to go younger and develop their own, especially if it's someone like Justin Fields who has such a high upside. If Cam Newton wasn't there, I think Jimmy Garoppolo fits better. But as Kimberly alluded to, and I agree, they have sort of an intermediate bridge quarterback. So I do think they'd be aggressive. I think, as you said, Greeny, it's uncharacteristic, but it's too good of an opportunity to get that young quarterback. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.